Hello. In this video, I want to take a few moments to talk about earning your best grade in Math 081. We are going to look at some guidelines and some student samples of work for the Extend Your Learning assignments. As you know, your most recent Extend Your Learning assignment, Thinking of Two Numbers, was recently graded. You've probably seen your score in the gradebook. Hopefully, this video will help us learn the guidelines and expectations as we move forward and understand why it's important that we do things like show our work and give proper explanations of our answers. And by the end of the video, if you stick around and watch the whole thing, you'll be pleasantly surprised that I will give you the opportunity to resubmit your work to improve your grade. First of all, let's talk about why we have to show our work. By showing your work, you're documenting your mathematical thinking as you interact with the problem. You're increasing the chances that you'll be able to successfully complete a similar problem in the future, whether it's in this class or if it's in a higher level math class down the road. You're preparing yourself to be successful in all your math classes. So why do I have to explain my answers then? A lot of students think, well, as long as I understand it, why do I have to explain it? But being able to explain how to solve a problem demonstrates a deep understanding of the concept. When you can explain the steps you took to solve the problem, you not only understand how to get the answer, but you understand why you took the steps you took which will help you in problems later on that might apply the same skills. Math is all about recognizing patterns. By explaining your thinking, you can clearly identify those patterns. And with a deep understanding, you'll be able to generalize patterns and solve all kinds of different problems in the future. Plus, when you explain your answers, you're strengthening your own understanding and you're making sure that that knowledge resides in your long-term memory. So how do I know if I'm doing a good job at explaining my answers? You wanna to try to explain as if you're talking to a friend or another student in the class who has an idea of the content we're learning, but they might be just struggling with a certain concept. In other words, give them a step-by-step -step explanation. Don't just repeat a formula. Don't just tell them to go slow and check their work. They probably need some more specific guidance. Maybe you need to stress an important formula, but you have to then show them how to use it. Or maybe you have to show them that it would be helpful to draw a diagram. You could also pretend that you're providing an answer key for another student. Sometimes we don't know where to start when we're explaining our answers. So try these sentence starters. My solution is blank. And I arrived at this solution by blank. Or the first step I took was blank. Or this problem reminded me of blank. So I did blank. So all of those are good ways to start your explanation to somebody else. Again, I always say, pretend that you're trying to explain it to someone else who's really counting on you to understand the problem. Make sure you give them enough information so they can follow your explanation step by step. It's nice to say things like stay confident and take your time. And those are good confidence boosters but they need a lot more specific guidance when they're solving a particular problem. Okay, so now let's look at some student samples of work. Here is student sample number one. So this would have been from problem number two on the Extend Your Learning assignment for thinking of two numbers. This student did a great job showing their work on how to find the LCM of the numbers 15 and 25. Notice how this student provides enough detail in her work so another student could look at her paper and understand how to find the LCM of two numbers. So if another student was confused, this would be a great resource. Let's take a look at another student sample of work from a previous semester. This was for problem number four. Remember, when you have to explain a process in your own words, the best thing to do is to act as if you're explaining it to someone who really doesn't know how to do it. They understand the vocabulary, they've heard the term least common multiple, they've heard the term factor tree, things like that, but they need some specific guidance. Notice how this student did a great job explaining what to do if there was more than one occurrence of a prime factor, because sometimes the factors repeat themselves. And also, providing an example to follow is very helpful. Sometimes the words just aren't enough and somebody might need an example to look at after they read your explanation. This student came up with an original example to help support her explanation. Now for problem number five, 
Did you know there were other possible pairs of numbers that Moses could have been thinking of? The numbers 10 and 12 aren't the only two possible numbers that had a GCF of two and an LCM of 60. So Layla really necessarily wasn't correct. There could have been other pairs of numbers that Moses was thinking of. There's actually three other possible pairs of numbers. Do you think you can find them? Make sure you're using the resources that are provided in Canvas. You probably look or you probably find this screen familiar. This is where you access the Extend Your Learning assignment in the modules. But right before that is a content page that teaches you the skills you need to successfully complete the Extend Your Learning assignment. If you clicked on this content page called Using Venn Diagrams to find the GCF and LCM of two numbers, you would see that there were some examples of the LCM and GCF Venn diagram method, and you'll also see that there were some videos in there to help you on your way as you're completing the assignment. Don't jump straight into the assignment without reading the content page first. The content page will give you the foundation you need to ace the assignment. Earn your best grade. It's so important to me that you understand why it's important to show your work and how to explain your answers that I'm gonna give you another chance to submit your assignment to increase your grade. It's going to help you throughout the rest of the class and in your future classes if you really know what it means to show your work and explain your thinking. It's also gonna help you have a better solid understanding of the material and then you'll feel better about yourself and about the class. But don't forget, combine multiple pages of work into one single PDF file. Not only does this prohibit you from having to submit and upload more than one document, which can be tedious if you have to upload two or three documents, but it also makes it easier when I'm grading your work to have everything in one complete file and then I can see all of your work in one place. So when you're using your scanner apps on your phone, use the ability to combine the multiple pages into one file. And then you only have to upload one thing and that saves time for you too. So resubmit your assignment by midnight tomorrow night, Wednesday the 30th, and I will take a look at it again and I will regrade it and hopefully you will see your scores improve. I hope this video helped. Have a wonderful day.